my goodness my hair is just doing its own thing today I took a nap oh god <laughs> also someone today asked me if this was my Halloween costume and they asked if I was Fred from Scooby-Doo I kind of see it now <laughs> channel I hope you're all having a wonderful day so today I am here to talk about my full thoughts my review on being on retinol for a whole year it's actually been more than a year it would have been a year in July so I'm a little late on that before we get started though I do want to say I filmed a one month retinol video so I will leave that in the cards and also in the description as well and I also filmed a six month update on retinol which again will be in the cards and in the description. Now in those videos, in the first video I described what retinol is, I described like each week I have time video cards of showing what my skin looked like, how it cleared up my skin and then I talked about more benefits, what's good about it, I talked about other brands that offered retinol products, um, that sort of stuff. So that is in the first video. The second video I did on retinol is more just like my six month update. If I saw any more problems with it, that sort of stuff, I did talk a lot about sun damage and the importance of wearing sunscreen absolutely every day. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy, doesn't matter if there's snow outside, you wear sunscreen. There are a lot of products out there now that offer sunscreen in your foundation or in your powders. They even have powdered sunscreen, which I personally love. Sunscreen is just really, really important, especially when you're using retinol. Ba like just going off of that point, I mentioned it in previous videos before, but retinol is a really high intense product that kind of just like strips your skin and replenishes the collagen in it. That skin is so vulnerable. Literally just like taking a layer. I'm just trying to like make it like picture. Um, I'm just because it's Halloween, just you're p taking a layer off your skin and now the sun's hitting this brand new layer and it can damage so easily. So Please, please, please protect your skin. You'll thank yourself in however many years when you're older. Like, I see people now who have a lot of sun damage, and it's not, I'm not saying it's not attractive, I'm just saying it's not healthy. So, yes. Um, so, yeah, so that's why I talked about it in the second video. Um, and then this video, I'm just gonna share some of my thoughts. Oh, I forgot to take my hair last time. Yeah, I'm just gonna share my thoughts. There are a couple comments that I wanted to address that were in both videos, and then. Yeah, so it won't be a super long video. I mean, it's already kind of long because I just kind of explained it. But yeah, I'm also going to share my updated nighttime and morning skincare routine. So yeah. Oh well, yeah, so we'll just get started then. Started in July. Used it... I don't... I did not use it properly right off the bat. And I noticed that in a lot of comments from the first video. And then I explained it in the second video and then kind of like took that information and did it properly. I purchased the 1%, which is very, very high. Try and start in 0.5 or less. Like retinol is very, very strong. And for me, it quickly and just uh, kind of like sped up the process because I used it so consistently and because I used a higher percentage, my skin dried up, it peeled, it hurt, it burned, but it really got rid of my acne quick. I would not suggest doing that. I suggest being safe with your skin. And I made the biggest mistake by doing this in July. As I said earlier, like use sunscreen. Like your skin is so vulnerable, you need to protect it. Highly recommend not starting it in July when you're at the cottage every weekend. <laughs> what I'm saying with that, if you find yourself that it's burning and you have a lower percentage, drop it in your moisturizer, rub it in, and then put it all in. I noticed a huge difference in the burning sensation around my eyes because that skin is so sensitive. Definitely, if you're using retinol, I suggest patting it into certain areas of your skin and kind of avoiding this area. Or if you want to get in that area, I'd suggest putting it, pairing it with a moisturizer and rubbing it all in. So yeah, so that would be my like top tip is to do that. I have now kind of brought retinol back in. So I fell off of using retinol for about five, six months in this year of doing retinol. Good up to it, probably, I posted my second, or like my six month update back in January, I believe. So I think I got off of retinol around March and then because I ran out, so then I ordered another one from Sephora. I think it was about May or June. I noticed a huge difference in the serum itself. And at this point I was probably using it once a week. The color was really off. It was like a bright yellow. 
the smell was so potent. It was it it was awful. I I can't even describe how much like it wasn't like the rotten egg smell, but it did smell like the chemical was off. Oh, and it didn't really do anything. That's when I I think I used it for about two weeks. So I think I, I probably used it about three or four times. Maybe I was at twice a week that time because I didn't notice anything happening. I, I left it to be, and I just kind of got off retinol. I noticed my skin going back to the way it was, my acne around my period was really, really bad. When I was stressed, it was bad. So I wasn't in that routine anymore of controlling my, my acne and my skin. I also noticed some wrinkles. I noticed a lot of like lines in my face that weren't there before, at least I hadn't noticed before. So I have a feeling that that also involved the use of retinol as well. So what the point of me saying all this is I took an Instagram story because I just reordered retinol. When I got an email from Sephora saying they restocked, I jumped on that and purchased it right away. I took an Instagram video sharing the difference in just color alone of the retinol. So here it is here, obviously went off, and then this is the new one. There's a huge difference in smell. I'm actually noticing it working because I'm back onto using it now and all that stuff. Now my skin kind of relapsed and went into its own ways because now that I've started, I think it's been about two weeks that I've been back on it, I noticed a difference in my skin, it's kind of purged itself. So I've had lots of acne spots. I'm currently on day one of flow, so this spot is really like hello world. I've really noticed that, but I've noticed it peeling here and around my eyes and the burning around my eyes. So I'm going back into using it with a moisturizer, taking it slow like I should have before, and kind of restarting it into my skin like I should have done in my first month of using retinol. Two to three times a week, dropping it in my moisturizer, rubbing it in, and then putting it all over my face. I'm just saying this now, and I should have said this at the beginning of the video because a lot of people like to comment. I am not a dermatologist. I am not a skincare specialist. I just, this is my own amateur opinion. I do not have a science background at all. I have a business and arts background. That is where I'm at. <laughs> Take my information and my reviews as a grain of salt. I want people to understand retinol and you know this product really helped me and is continuing to help me it might help you as well but i highly recommend talking to your dermatologist about this talk to your doctor just do your own research and your own skin specific research that's all i'm gonna say share my skincare routine with you before i go into just answering a couple of the comments like popular comments um i think i covered most of it just what i was saying there but to start off, when I wear like makeup and all that stuff, double cleansing has really changed the game. And I talked about that in my first video because that's when I started it, was I think the third week of that month. So I had two weeks of double cleansing and I noticed a huge difference in my face. So I kind of switched between two. I've been using the Clinique um, Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm for about a year. And then about two months ago, I received this in PR. It's the Belief Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm, and I completely switched to this. This is so hydrating. I really, really enjoy it, especially for the winter months. Like coming up, I'm noticing my skin being a lot more dry. This really gets your dirt, like all the dirt, all the makeup, all that stuff off. I'm noticing that like when I'm going in with my cleanser, I use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I'm not taking off makeup. And when I dry my face or anything like that, I'm not getting makeup. And I use a white towel, so I'm not getting anything. Sometimes if I don't get into my hairline, that's, you know, that's what my makeup is coming off on. But I highly recommend this one. I will leave both of them down below. There is nothing wrong with this one. There were a couple comments in the six month update saying like a lot of bad stuff about Clinique. So I personally haven't done any of my own research on it. So I'm not really gonna comment on that. I don't have anything bad to say about this. I have been using it for a while now. This is the second time I've repurchased. It lasts a long time. It's worth the price. Yeah, it's really good, I find, but I'm not really sure what was wrong with it. This I remember in the PR uh, note that they gave that this was in the clean beauty section. So yeah. Also going back into talking about the expiry dates. So this is where you will find the expiry on every product. It has that little jar and it says 12 months or it'll say whatever month that expires, but that is what it looks like. So highly recommend double cleansing. It gets rid of everything. So I do that and then I go in with my retinol. It's just super simple. I'll drop it in my moisturizer. I actually use the Belief Aqua Balm 
lasting moisturizer and I literally ran out of it last night and threw it out. I don't have that to share with you. Um, I'm off to Sephora to go pick it up again because I think it is a great product. Very lightweight, it's that gel formula so it is very lightweight but I find it actually doing something. It's really, really good. So I am, um, it's hydrating. I shouldn't say doing something, so professional. It's very hydrating. I feel like getting to my skin, it's not as dry and it's not heavy or sticky. So yeah. So that's my nighttime routine. Super quick, easy, I brush my teeth, floss, mouthwash, call it a day. In the morning, that is where I don't do the traditional cleanse. Before I get in the shower, I throw cold water on my face, go in the shower, and then I come out, throw more cold water on my face, and then I go in with my moisturizer. Sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll go in with my Good Molecules Daily Brightening Serum. Do that, it brightens it up, I feel like, um, and I got a nice glow with it, but that's all I do. I don't wash my face in the morning, I don't put on like tons and tons of serums or anything like that. I just keep it really simple. My main thing is, is that I moisturize. And then when I go and do my makeup, I do the Good Molecules Silicone Primer, which is like a moisturizer. So I do that as well, and then I do a hydrating primer. So my face is very, very hydrated. I don't bring in other serums or chemicals or all that stuff. I kind of want to just keep it very minimal. So yeah, if you are, I'm just going to say this now because I'm looking at these comments already and I'm just saying this now. If you are a skincare specialist or derm dermatologist, please go in the comments because a lot of people have been asking questions. A lot of you guys answer each other's questions. Um, and I'm learning a lot from it as well. So I'm just saying there's a lot of new questions. So back and answer them. But yeah, there's lots of comments of people saying important when using retinol, use sunscreen. Good one. Don't use retinol every day when um, starting in your routine. Don't do what I did. This comment says you should start once a week then slowly increase to a max of three to four times a week. This one says a uh, tip. They suggest one to two drops with a moisturizer. Helps keep the irritation down and it's, your skin isn't purging as much. A lot of people are recommending the ordinary thing. I recommend it as well. It is, it's $9 Canadian. I think it's amazing. It does the job. The whole ordinary line tells you what exactly is in the product and it's at an affordable price. Yeah, so those are the main points um, that are in them. Yeah, but it really it really changed my skin. Oh yeah, I did use the Thayer's toner, the Witch Hazel toner. A lot of people are saying ditch that, and I did. Don't use that. <laughs> it's really bad for your skin. Um, just because it says that it's a good product and it's a skincare product and all that stuff, that's all marketing not a good product. Um, yeah, okay, so that was in the first one. Oh yeah, a lot of people were saying like using it, pairing it with like a vitamin C serum or like a hydrating serum and all that stuff. Yeah, this one person said I just order it and for some reason it's yellow. It's off. Don't use it if it's yellow. It should be like a clear consistency. I'll just show you here. See? Well, that's kind of yellow, but it's not like bright yellow. Go back, Instagram story, that's yellow. So yeah, anyway, I think I have talked about everything I want to say about retinol. Main, main points of you're just starting out on retinol. Take it slow, put it in and slowly into your routine. Drop it in your moisturizer if it's finding it's burning or it's too harmful. Do your research on the different levels and like percentages of retinol itself. Maybe not start with 1% like I did, it was a little strong. I highly recommend going to go watch my other videos, especially the first one because that explains like exactly what retinol is. Going in and sh sharing the timestamps of what my face looked like and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's my biggest piece of advice because all the information is in that video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and knowing my year on retinol and like just my review on it and all that stuff. I hope you were able to take something away from it. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I do plan on filming like a lot more product review videos so if there's something that you want me to try, let me know and I will do a, a, review, a review like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!